Welcome to the We Are T1D podcast. My name is Mike. My name is Jack. We are just two normal blokes living in London, type 1 diabetes, getting on with it week to week, seeing what happens. Week to week, day to day, year to year, all the time. Diabetes is a 24-hour job. Yes, it is. And on this podcast, everything we say mustn't be taken as medical advice. <laughs> nah. Keep telling you every week, people, we are not doctors. Nuh-uh. Right, let's roll the jingle. We're not struggling, let's talk about it. Jack, I'm sure you've got a very good win this week. What is it? Uh, to be honest, that ain't nothing really... Well, it's a win for me, but it's not nothing spectacular. It's just, uh, I feel good this week, man. I felt really good this week. I've had good time in ranges, which we'll get into a bit later. But um, yeah, everything's just been good. Feeling good. You feel good, good, good. You feel good, yes, wonderful, good. <laughs> I feel good, proper wonderful, good, bro. All the time, mate. It's good. Yeah, I've got back into me. Well, like, I keep saying every week, I'm going to get back into my fitness. I'm getting back into my fitness. I actually lifted up weights this week. So yeah, I'm happy. Uh, that's good, man. Well done. I'm actually going to give you a clap. Thank you. I'll give myself one as well, why not? <laughs> Go on, you little sea lion. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. I can tell you, your uh, mindset's better then. Yeah, yeah, a lot better, man. I just, everything just feels better. That comes with the time in range, though. It does. It does. Mm-hmm. It's, um, I'll say, like, last week I was struggling with, like, motivation. Like, this week, I've had quite um a few hires during the nights this week. Like, I don't know why. Just my body seems to like going up. Uh, about three o'clock in the morning, randomly. Maybe your timing of your morning glory has changed. Possibly. Because it can be any time. It doesn't, it's not literally just when you wake up. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. You haven't actually had any spikes. Like, no, I'd still spike up a little bit once you actually get out of bed and start moving around. But I've not had any, nothing major for ages. But they always seem to go up between, I'm going to say about half one and four. Okay. Yeah. So your timing's changed. Are you going to bed earlier or, or eating earlier? Well, I haven't, I'm not snacking as much maybe that's got something to do with it because uh, i i used to snack like quite a lot before bed yeah i mean but I, as i say i've been switching up all my diet and doing this and doing that so it's um i haven't really been eating a hell of a lot so what you're eating is getting burnt quicker so that's why your morning glory is coming sooner okay okay in theory see i'm not a doctor i didn't even know that <laughs> i'm not a doctor but no nah, it makes, nah, sense, but it in makes my head. sense though doesn't it yeah. It does make sense. Even I just learned something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I say it and then believe myself like, yeah, well done. <laughs> What's your struggle then? My struggle is, well, as I say, dealing with a few alarms like during the night. So that's the only thing that's really sort of been giving me a bit of a bit of ag this week. Bit of zig. Bit of zig. <laughs> Get a zig and zack. <laughs> yeah, that's that's literally the only thing that's really been like getting onto me really this week. It's just alarms during the night. So I've been waking up in the morning. I'm still up. Like I feel motivated. I'm up, feeling good, but I'm just very sluggish for like the first hour or so. And then once I actually get up and start doing stuff, I'm all right. Oh, okay. I don't know whether that might have been like the the feeling that I had last week, like no motivation. It might have just like you. I think you said it. It might have just been my body's just tired, man. So I haven't stopped. Like, it's just been so busy lately. I have not stopped. Yeah. If you want to find out, go see your doctor. <laughs> nah, that's... Nah. <laughs> um, I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's your win anyway this week, Matt? My win? Um, I'm actually getting better with eating dinner now. I'm not going really high after. Oh, that's good. So you ain't been falling asleep then? No. No, I actually stayed awake the other night, I think. What, the whole night? Well, not the whole night, no. Uh, Amber fell asleep before me and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tables have turned. Yes. Yeah. I would have started taking pictures and just proper rubbing it in her face, mate. Nah, toothpaste on the eyebrows and stuff like that. That was good. Oh, <laughs> no, get no. the sharpies out. Ooh. That reminds me when me and Amber first got together. Um, actually, was we together then? We wasn't together, but it was a house party. Mate, she got a sharpie and wrote over someone's face and everything. Uh, I've done it. I've never had it done to me, to be like, honest, but I have done it to other people. I've shaved plenty of eyebrows. Oh, you haven't done the eyebrows? Uh, yeah, big time. But oh, that's, mate, um, I think that's because <laughs> most of the time, like them, them certain people have either fallen asleep because I used to be the person that hosted the parties. Everyone used to come to my mum's house. Yeah. But 
he was either falling asleep or you've spewed on my carpet or something. So your eyebrows are coming off. Oh, it's a punishment. Yeah, yeah. I'm not just doing it for banter. <laughs> no, I'm, no, that's that's. It is, it is funny, but it's not, bro. Like, that's, there, there's a line. Do you know what I mean? But if you're spewing over my carpet when my mum's down her caravan and I'll, like, I'm, I'm trying to keep the house tidy. What's your struggle been anyway? My struggle, uh, probably rage bolus and that. As soon as I start spiking, I'm just, uh, just getting it in there. You like a rage bolus though, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I might secretly enjoy it, but, <laughs> but I like, you know, when you're high and then you suddenly see it, like, just going down, it's like, thank you, you're listening. Yeah, pr- yeah, it's like, I told you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say, you told me what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like I, to- like, I told you, get down, bro. Like, don't, you don't do that, I'm in control. Yeah, and then I start hitting about five and I think, oh, okay, this is going low. So I just start eating. Sometimes I catch it, sometimes I don't. But saying that, I had the weirdest low today. So I'd done a rage today. I uh, had my lunch, done the right insulin and all that. Actually, it was a yeah. little bit less because I was at work. And I just went high. I went up to 16. I was like, nah, mate, I'm not having that. So I just whacked in like, um, I think it was three units or four units, probably four knowing me. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just, it come down to normal. And then I was at work. It was just running in green, in range. As soon as I finish work, I sat in my car, alarm goes off, I think 4.3. Oh my God. I was like, oh, here we go. And then then I ate some lift tablets and then it went down even more. And I was like, okay. And then I ate some more lift tablets because now I'm rage ta- I'm rage tabbing now. This is a new one. Rage tabbing. Yeah. <laughs> rage tabbing. Come, up, come up with a new saying. <laughs> and uh, then I was like, and I was like, nah, I feel all right. I feel all right. So I just drove. Very naughty of me, by the way, but I just drove. You know when you know you're all right, but your sense is so delayed, it's not there. Yeah, I've had it a couple of times, mate. Like, it's it's telling you you're low or you're not even low, but sometimes you're just under five when you think like, I know it's coming up. I'm going. Yeah. And uh, that's the worst thing. Just before you're about to drive and you get like, you're not five, you always eat too much. And you, then you go high. Yeah. See, that that is why my alarms are set on 5.1 from my low. Because I drive all the time, constantly. I might get it sprung off on me or work. Like, oh, Jack, you need to run to the merchants quickly to go and get this. Or I drive to work. I drive from work. Most nights I'll pick my wife up from work. Then I'm, I might have to shoot to the shop. So I always keep my, well, I try and keep my levels above five all the time. Yeah. Nah, so I've... Might need to start doing that. But yeah, got my phone, put it, it was in the phone holder. So I kept my glucose visible so I could see what it was. It did, it had a, started having that diagonal up arrow. I was like, yeah, it's going to okay. be fine. So I yeah. was like, sod it. It's come up already. My sensor's catching up. And midway journey home, it went to 5.7. I was like, perfect. Then I pulled up yeah. at home and it goes 3.4. I'm thinking, what? And I was just so confused. And then I... So what, what happened there? I don't know. It like come up and just went back down again. It was like, I don't want to be here. I'm going. So I don't know. I don't know what is so what's... weird. Saying that, mate, I've had quite a few of them on my uh, sensor the past... Well... Funnily enough, since it updated. Mm, maybe there was a little error in it. Like they just randomly go up and then they'll they'll be back in range. Or I had done it the other night. I think it was must have been about four o'clock in the morning on Saturday night. I had a high alarm. Uh I think I scanned my arm, woke up because obviously I haven't done it. I'm actually I've got five minutes left until I am officially a scanless sensor person. Mm. Ooh, so it's gonna actually <laughs> I, can, I can review it live on the episode <laughs> but yeah it was about four o'clock in the morning i had a massive high i think i was like 11 something with an arrow going straight up so i just half a kip i just instantly rolled over grabbed my insulin pen needle on two units whacked it in went back to sleep within half an hour my sensor had bleeped up and set the alarm off again so i was just like oh it's gone high again rolled over looked I was low and it was telling me that I was 4.1 going straight down. So I was just like, what, what have I done? You need to set a different alarm for highs and lows, mate. Like what, what alarm, what, what scares you more being high or low? High. I hate going high. No, it's not scary. I just don't like it. I don't like the feeling of it. Right. So, you know, your annoying alarm, the default, the boop, 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 leaves that as your low alarm. Yeah. And just set something that isn't 
as annoying as your high alarm because you're pissed off anyway because you're high. And that way, it, in the middle of the night, you're going to know if you're going high or low by the alarm that's playing. Okay, yeah, that's true. Because that's what I do. Obviously, I've got my watermelon sugar. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I, I wouldn't be able to have something. I, I need a noise. It has to be annoying. Like I've said, but like even my alarm, t- my alarm tone that wakes me up in the morning, just like my normal alarm tone, is the most annoying sound in the world. But it is literally the only thing that'll wake me up. I don't know. Just find one, mate. Seriously, just download an app. I'll have and- a look. I, do you know what? I actually haven't even since I've had type one. I've never actually gone through the app and sort of played around with all them alarm tones and things like that. I've never done it that's the first thing I've done <laughs> was it <laughs> yeah I was like I can't stand it I've got it as my reminder alarm for when I do my long lasting okay yeah 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 because yeah. I need to know when to do that but the worst thing is I just dismiss it and then I bloody forget to do it anyway that's another struggle I keep bloody forgetting to do that <laughs> Strong and then I start going high. I'm like, why am I going high? Oh wait, I knew I forgot something. So I've got to do a bit of um, Nova Rapid as well as my long lasting just to bring me down again. Yeah, that's the thing with your long lasting. If you're high or low, you still do the same dose. You don't adjust it because it won't affect you immediately. It's for the day or twelve hours if you're on the. Same I've as always me. had it in my head that if I am, because I I tend to have low blood sugar nearly every single night before I go to bed, but. In between 9 and 10, which is always, between that time, it just always seems to start dropping off. Do you know what? I see that in someone's story. It was an hour, I can't remember who it was. It was like an hour before they were due their Lantus. You're Lantus, aren't you? Yeah, li- literally. Uh, I do my Lantus 10 o'clock every single night, unless I'm still hypo, because I- I've always had it in my head that if I'm hypo, I shouldn't inject it. Obviously, I know it's long lasting. It's not going to start working straight away, but I've just always had that thing in my head. Yeah. No, there's say, the someone else um, had it in their Instagram story and they said an hour before they're due their Lantus, they have a random drop. That's interesting, man, because I've li- I've always had that. Well, since you've been doing it? Yeah, pretty much. It's like it's like clockwork now. Like every single night at nine o'clock, no matter what I am doing, I could be sat on the sofa, just sitting there watching the telly, doing nothing, and it just drops. That's so weird. Maybe it has like an ending peak. But maybe, yeah, possibly. I don't know. It might, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't got a clue, bruv. But it's just, um, I thought that was just my body. I used to, like me and my wife, we'd like... It's just like, oh, that's that's the hypo hour. Like, it's going to happen. It's just make sure you get the a couple of biscuits hour. down here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happy hour, it's hypo hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But no, it's a sec- like, that's, that's, that's really interesting to actually hear that someone else is... Yeah, that's weird, man. You know when you first got diagnosed, you was told to do it in the morning? Yeah. Maybe that's the fight, morning glory. Possibly, possibly. I wasn't told to do it. It was just because I was in the hospital and obviously they yeah, they used to come round at like, I think it was about between half seven and eight o'clock in the morning with like, the, you know, the breakfast stuff. We bring you cereal and your porridge and all that stuff. Yeah. So they used to do that about half seven, eight o'clock. And then the nurses always used to tell me that I, um, I have to tell them before I eat, obviously, because they had to do my Nova Rapid. Yeah. So they'd done it every morning the same time as my breakfast Nova Rapid. So I just kept it like that when I come out of the hospital. I'm trying to think, because you obviously wake up. But then again, your timing's all changed now anyway. So it actually, I, I, I'm just processing theories. This is what I do. I'm such a bloody deep thinker. Yeah, it's annoying sometimes, because I just, I don't care about anything. I just kill. <laughs> I, know, I know you just get on with it, but there's me. I'm like, no, there's a reason. There's always a reason. There's a reason behind everything. Oh yeah, I get the reason. I like I understand that. There's like everything happens for a reason. There's a reason behind everything. But I just can't be bothered to think about it. It's too confusing. No, nah, my mind's crazy. I, I ooh, can't switch Oh, oh, I'm interrupting you. My sensor is ready. Oh, oh, oh. What does it say? <laughs> I am. Sorry, I'll get really excited then, bruv. I'm scandalous now. So I'm so down with the kids, bro. Do you have to scan? You know, once it's finished, do you, did it ask you to scan? No, I've literally just opened my app. I'm 8.9. Steady. Oh, well done, mate. So my theory works that I told you. Yes. I'll let let you people into a secret. (laughs) Uh, Literally (laughs) before we started recording, I had a shower and uh, I had, um, I usually tend to go low in the shower. So I ate a couple of biscuits before I got in there. I thought I'm like, I'm not, 
letting you get the better of me before I start recording. So I'm going to load myself up. So I've had two biscuits, got in the shower, I come out, I was 9.8 going straight up. So I was just like, right, sensor change, rip it off and put the other one back on before it registers and goes into any sort of yellow or red. And it's worked. <laughs> the new one's loaded off. I'm back in the green. No registers of hires. Oh, you naughty, naughty. And I see. Bloody clever, though. You know it. That's how we keep my time in range, You're mate. cheating the system. Told you, I feel good this week, bro. It's good. It is good. I feel good. Actually, I feel good this week. Do you know why? Why? I've got a long, long weekend coming up. A long, long weekend? That's a really long one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know you get like a long a long weekend is you've got the Monday off as well, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got a long, long weekend. So I've got the Friday, the Saturday, the Sunday and the Monday off. Oh, that's nice, bro. Yeah, because it's my wedding anniversary. Oh, nice. Where are you going? Anywhere special? I uh, don't know yet. Oh, well, just, <laughs> just going to wing it. Just wing it like my diabetes pretty much. Fair play, mate. It's actually quite... Do you know what? Some of the... I always say the best times are when you don't plan nothing. Yeah. That is... I've lived my whole life by that. I don't plan anything. Like, like literally you can I think I've spoke about this before in previous episodes my missus asked me all the time what you're doing like, I, just, I don't know asked me the day before do, do you know my problem I plan stuff but I don't do it and then about a week or two later I'll be like yeah I planned that I'm going to do it now nah, see I feel <laughs> like with diabetes I don't like, like I think I've got um, I've, I've had like invites to parties and things like that that are months down the line they're like, you could, like can you come to my like come to my birthday and I'm like bro to be honest I don't know like I, I have to see what I feel like in the morning Right, I, don't, I don't know. So I ain't saying yes and I ain't saying no. I might be there. I might not. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you commit to something and then it, the day comes and you're like, fuck, do we really have to go? Yes. Well, not even that. It's like, well, obviously with diabetes, it's unpredictable. So you could have a really shit night the night before and you wake up and think, you know what? I'm knackered, bro. I ain't going to nowhere. Oh, that's, that's another one of my struggles. Right, th- we're just going to call this week Michael's struggles. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had... I had, I think it was a four and a half or five hour low the other night. Wow. And I woke up, I'm not even joking, I felt like absolute shit. Uh, I couldn't ring work because I just couldn't speak properly. I, I, I texted him, I was like, I ain't coming in, mate, because I, I sent him my graph. I was like, look, and uh, he didn't even respond, which I thought, you're a prick. Yeah, I don't like that, man. At least that's, say, are you annoying. okay? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, well, not even that. Just go, all right, mate, no worries. Just let us know what you're doing. Man, all right, it don't take a lot, man. No. And then uh, I were, still weren't 100% the next day. I do. I got my level sorted back. I had a, quite a bit of highs. And then, uh, what was it? The next day, I still wasn't 100%, so I took another day off. And then, funny enough, the weekend come and I was all right. It literally took me two days to recover from that. Though. Yeah, no problem. Like, so with, this, with this, you got to do what you got to do. Mm. You can't just force yourself to go and do something. If you're not up for it and you've had a crappy night or you just don't feel yourself, like, we're the only people that know our bodies and how we feel. Exactly. And if you starve your brain of glucose, you're going to die. Yeah. Or yeah. you can have a seizure. You're going to go into a coma. Like, that's the seriousness of a hypo. We joke about it, but like, sorry, I, I like come into realisation of, whoa, mate, you could have died. Yeah. I, do you know what? Actually, I had quite a bad one the other week. I had, um, ah, I think it was Friday, bro. Yeah, last, this Friday just gone. I had mm. um a KFC for dinner. My famous KFC. Friday tradition. Yeah, go on. <laughs> it's got this Friday takeaway, bro. It's got to be in it. Well, I had a KFC. I injected. I think I worked it out. I can't even remember. I think it was like 12 units worth of stuff. I was just like, I know for a fact that's full of fat. I was like, I, like, I actually done a split bolus, sort of. I inject, I inje- it was, as I said, it was about 12 units worth of stuff. So I injected, I think, I think it was either seven or eight. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. But I still went, I still went hypo. Like, bad hypo. Like, within, say, 20 minutes after finishing my food, crash, big crash. I think I went down to like 2.1 or 2.2 or something. What? That's the lowest you've ever been, isn't it? Yeah, bruv, it was. Uh, I, even I looked at my missus, she was like, are you all right? I was just like, like no, no. Like, honestly, going, like, I need coke, I need t- t- whatever. Just go go to the cupboard and get me whatever. So I was just saying, I was shaking, I was sweating. 
I felt like I'd been microwave, bro. I was so hot and sweaty on the surface, but I felt cold inside. Yeah. It was just, you yeah. Had hypo fever. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But proper, as I say, that was, I think that's the, what that is the worst one and the lowest one that I've had. Like, how I felt, it was, that was scary, man. Yeah, it is scary. You're all right now, obviously, because you're here. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. And to be honest, it didn't um even register as a low, I don't think, that much. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, I am quite lucky because it's just, it's done me a favour because uh, my time in range this week has just been sick. Yeah, let's get away from the depressing stuff. Sorry, guys. I'm, yeah. ju- I'm just struggling a bit. Yeah. Should we, get, should we do the time in ranges? Yeah, let's do the... Time in range time. Who's starting? I'm going to do my... I'll do mine because it's, it's not bad, but it's not... Right. Actually, guys, I'm living by my 25%. So my high is a 15, my lows are 10, and my in range is 75%. That's still good, bro. I'm like, don't, don't even say it's bad. That's good, bro. I'll give you a round of applause for that. Thanks, mate. It's better That's... than last week anyway. I can't even remember what no, you was ain't. last week. No, it's not. It's worse than last week. I was 79%, I just remembered. Uh, it was still good. But that's because of these lows. These, like, three-hour lows I keep... Fucking getting. Yeah, I'll bet that shifted it down quite a lot, didn't it? Well, yeah, you think. Wait, what was my lows last week? My lows last week were 3%. So add 7 to 5, right? And I would have been 82%. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, them lows. I don't want to say mine uh, now. Go on. Well, what's yours, uh, Mr. Perfect? That's not perfect. <laughs> I am. My... Every diabetic will say it's perfect. Go on. All right. Well, my highs are 6%. My lows one percent uh, my in range is 93 percent wow wow thank you thank you well done mate thank you i told you i've been strict bro i'm back in my i'm in my mindset now bro i'm back fitness i'm back nutrition i'm back everything i've ordered my i think i actually turned up today i've got to go out to my mum soon and uh go and get the parcel but all my protein powders are turned up I'm getting uh, multivitamins I've got BCAs there's loads of stuff in there so I'm I'm back on everything man well done mate thank you thank you have you joined the gym yet? no no, <laughs> no. I'd probably I'd probably go low wouldn't I? <laughs> are you getting all your steps? At least I know you're still banging them out I received the stuff from Diabetes UK the other day I've got a medal now I've got a t-shirt because over a hundred pounds being made, and yes, bro. Yeah, the steps are going really well. Smashing and it. And today, t- yeah, it's the, it's the only thing that's good regarding diabetes. No, it's not. I'm just fucking depressed, mate. You want a cuddle? Um, no, I'm not depressed. So, yeah, I ain't seen no one all day. I'm fucking lonely. That's why. I think it is, you know. I've literally woke up, gone to work, come home, fucking no one's here. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I hate spending. I hate doing it. Yeah, it's horrible. Spending a day on your own is not nice, man. You feel like you don't even talk to no one for like eight or nine hours, bro. It's weird. That's what I mean. I was like playing a game. Like I was t- talking to someone and he was just fucking shouting at me. I was like, well, fuck off, you prick. <laughs> 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 like, do you want to make my day better, yeah. mate? Like, we're oh, playing a game. Jesus. Yeah, see, bro, that's why I can't do gaming thing, man. People take it way too seriously. And if I went on there with levels above 10 and someone shouted at me, I don't know what would do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the worst thing. My levels have been perfect today, apart from that low when I come home from work. Yeah. They've literally been green. I don't know what happened to me at lunchtime, bruv. I really don't know. I ate 80, if it was 81 grams of carbs, but I only done seven units. And I still bloody went high, bro. I know, I went high after breakfast. Sorry, mate, my brain went. No, that's... So uh, there's me with highs, there's you with lows, and hey-ho. <laughs> I'm still catching them. Oh. I always catch them before they hit the red now. 95% of the time, I catch them before they hit the red because I've got my alarm set so high. I've got so much of a pre warning. I wish you could set extra alarms. It's actually pissing me off. What do you mean? Right, you know, you've got an alarm set at, well, mine set at 10.1 or something. No, I've upped it to 11 because it was annoying me. Um, <laughs> My high alarm set at 11. I'd like to set another one for like 13. Yeah, because I used to get a high and then adjust it to 13. And then sometimes yeah. I forget to reduce it back down. And then it just messes me up because I don't get a warning until I'm 13. And then I'm stressed out anyway because I'm high. I'll do exactly the same thing, bro. I always change my low alarm during the night. And then there's been some times where I'll, well, I'll drop it down to like 4.3, 4.4. Yeah. 
But then as, as I say, like I do the same thing. I wake up, completely forget to change it back. And then I'm cracking on. Like I could be driving, driving to work. And then all of a sudden I get an alarm. Like, oh shit, I must be going low. I have a look like thinking I'm only going to be five. And I'm like 4.2 with an arrow going down. So it's all like, oh shit. Like I've got to pull over, shoot my hypo. It's long, man. So yeah, I know what you mean about setting extra alarms now. I understand that. Yeah, I wish you had the option to add extra. Mm. Freestyle, if you're listening, add it to your bloody app. It's not hard to add. Nah, nah, I suppose, well, I suppose it ain't. Nah, because I, I do the same as you. If I sort of like, if I get an alarm, say it goes over 10 or below my low alarm, I always drop the alarm or higher, make it go higher. Because obviously I know then if I'm going high again or lo- carrying on going low, it's going to let me know again. Yeah. Because that's, that's another thing. Once you've scanned, it won't give you another high alarm. No, no, it don't. It's... It's a piece of shit, to be honest, sometimes. (laughs) Well, we'll have to see how we get on with our G7s, won't we? Because we've both got them now. Yeah, I was waiting for you. Yeah, I do apologise, mate. I told you, I've got a brain like a sieve, bruv. I don't, like, I don't remember stuff like this. But I've got it. It's here now. We can As long as as you can count your carbs, you're all right. Yeah, I remember to do the, um, guess the carbs leaderboard. So that's... Ah. That's going to be up soon, so everyone can actually yeah, see their up. positions. Yep, you can. And while we're talking against carbs, should we just do it? Do it? Yeah, go for it. Why not? Because the, the jingle might cheer us up. You never know. Go. Well, I'm fine. It's you, you miserable bastard. Can you guess the carbs? Can you guess the carbs? <laughs> what is the <laughs> carbohydrate? <laughs> no, I'm going to play the real one. Sorry, guys. Here you go. Can, can you guess, guess the carbs? Can, can you guess the carbs? The what is the carbohydrate? <laughs> <laughs> See, that got you laughing, bro. <laughs> oh, it's so I love diabetic, Dennis. I, w- I want a little, make him into a little plush toy. Or I don't think we need to, bro. <laughs> we are T1D diabetic, Dennis. Diabetic, Dennis, who loves carbs. <laughs> 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 oh, it's good to laugh again. Thank you know. Right, so this week's guest the carbs is a Greg special. Oh. So we have we have one chicken bake complemented by one steak bake, um. which is co- and we can't leave them alone. We brought them a couple, so we gave them two yum yums, mm. and then we thought we'd wash it all down with a large latte. Nice. <laughs> this is a proper carby <laughs> meal, isn't it? I'd easy polish that in one sitting. Easily. So it's one chicken bake, one steak bake, and two yum yums with a large latte from Greg's. So you can really cheat if you really want to, but don't be cheaters. I'd cheat. Why not? Get out the leaderboard, bro. Go for it. Exactly. You can win yourself at Amazon <laughs> Voucher. Yeah. Maybe it might be yeah. worth cheating. <laughs> Leave your um, entries. The post will be up once this episode's out. So go, go on to the We Are T1D Instagram page and the post will be there. Leave your entries in the comments and I am the man that will be working everything up. Yep. And I will do the leaderboard eventually. Actually, the leaderboard will be out the day before this podcast goes out. So it'll be out the Saturday. I'll put it up on Saturday. Oh, that's sweet. Sweet. Yeah, that sounds about good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sweet. Yeah, danger. mate. Sweet, yeah. brother. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, yeah. jubbly. All right, all right, Jack. Jack, Jack, do you want to tell me what your discovery oh, is this week? Then, your discovery is a bit of a saucy one this week, mate. It's a bit saucy. Does it need some special music? I'd- I'm going to play yeah, some. Yeah, I can't keep that up, bruv. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the voices man that you are, bruv. I can't be doing them things. I can do it for a couple of minutes, but... All right, Jack. Don't worry about All it, right, mate. mate. Play my jingle, bruv. Jack, Jack, Jack got your back. Jack got your back with Jack's discoveries. <laughs> Right, my discovery this week. And I say it's a bit of a saucy one, and my missus might give me a bit of a clip around the ear oh, for sharing this, but my discovery is... Wait, wait, you, you've got a saucy one. Oh, no, I'm butting in. You've got a saucy right. one. It, please, please tell me it's not about ketchup. No, it's not ketchup, bro. It's not ketchup. All right, because right. I was just going to end the podcast right no, now. I was like, I can't do it. It's definitely not ketchup. ketchup. I bet there's people out there that involve ketchup in this sort of thing, but that ain't my kind of ball game, bro. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, my discovery this week is that sex makes me go hypo, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I contemplated so much about saying this on the podcast, but we keep it real. So I've got to be true to myself. Yeah, yeah it, yeah, halfway through. Just beep, 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 Did you have to stop? Yeah. Was you forced to stop? Um, 
No, I forced myself to stop, really. Oh. But I, I had to. Did the situation just totally flop? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, this is why I contemplated whether saying anything or not. <laughs> You've just made my week, Jack. <laughs> nah, oh, to be fair, I, I, like, I didn't really have any symptoms, but I didn't feel like I was going hypo. So I just, I always keep snacks next to the bed. So I just lent over, had a couple of biscuits and cracked on me. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. But yeah, it's um, it's annoying, man. It was annoying. What did you what did you have to have a break and have a Kit Kat? No, I've um I've actually got them next to me here. They are fruit shortcake biscuits. All oh, right, F- from Lidl. Uh, yeah, they are actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I prefer the Lidl ones to the actual McVitie ones. It's the purple packet, isn't it? It's yeah. the one. Put them out today. Oh, enough. give me a packet, bro. <laughs> no, oh, right. I know what what happens when you have a packet of short <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> God, what are you telling me? That's never happened uh, to you before, bro. Nah? Now, to be fair, when I was younger, right, my dad used to always make this joke. Whenever I'd like get a girl over, he'd be like. <laughs> Do you, do you want a Mars bar? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, no, no, Dad, I'm all right, I'm all right. And then, then I, I think it was one day I was like, I need a Mars bar. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so oh, mate. if um, there's women listening, like, as a man, where when we go hypo and we're aroused, it can kill a certain organ yeah to keep it clean yeah but yeah so that used to be my dad's joke like, he'd be like oh <laughs> do you want a Mars bar <laughs> <laughs> probably the same shit I'd do actually to be fair yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. it's happened to me saying that I've been diabetic since I was 10 it's happened to me quite a lot yeah, I'll bet, I'll bet you I've got a few stories, in you? I won't go into them. Stop it. <laughs> no. But yeah, that, well, anyway, that, that is my discovery for the week. Yep. So if you flop, Jack, have a lift and it lift it back up. Uh, yeah, Perfect. hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to have at least two. All right. All right. Should we move away? Let's move away from your discovery and let's go into some wins. Yes. Yes. One of my favourite parts of the episode. Yo, let me begin, because it's time for the listener win. You and them bloody jingles. I just want to hear the wins. Let's hear it. (laughs) 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 It's wicked, man. What are you saying? I love them jingles, bro. (laughs) Well, Igna says she has an average glucose of 6.7. Oh, wow. That's wicked. Well done. Well done. Wait, we might have to change time and range to average sugar. Yeah. Ooh, that's yeah, that could be a good one. Oh yeah, because mine mine's seven point nine. I'm really Should impressed with that. that. Just for the week, yeah, seven point three. Right, so Jack, you are telling me, right? We our percentages are a lot out. Yeah. Actually, they're not that much. They're out. not. I told you that they're not that far out, bro. It's not even twenty. It's eighteen. We'll say eighteen. We're I'm eighteen percent like below you. Oh, yeah. Well, I told you, that ain't a lot. Yeah, that ain't a lot. But yeah, my average is 7.9 and yours is 7.3. Right, so at what time are your highest? Our highest is, says 8.4 and that was that is between 12 and 3 o'clock in the morning. So that's, that's when my body starts spiking. Okay, my highest is between 6 and 9 and it's 9. 6 and 9 in the morning? Yeah. Yeah, so obviously that's your morning glory time, and my morning glory time is between 12 and 3. But actually, to be fair, we could start doing this rather than time in range. I don't know what, because this one's easier to work out. Well, thank you, Igna, because you've inspired us to switch up everything. Right, so going back into the average glucose... What's your lowest time? Um, my lowest is 6.7, and that is for both 12 and 3 and 3 and 6. So between 12 and 6 in the afternoon. Okay. That's actually really interesting because between 12 and 3, I'm 6.9. That's Ooh. my lowest. There's literally a point two off. We're very similar. Even though our actual weekly time and ranges seem quite far apart sometimes, like averages, we're quite similar. Yeah, so sorry. I'm just going through this graph. I never... That's yeah, right. I'm it. I'm picking another win. I am going to pick. Uh, I was, I'll go for Amy, and they said finally getting prescribed Traceba after asking for it for months. So yeah, that's a win for you. Well done. Yeah, that's a win. 
Well done. I'd like, what is receiver? Is that uh, a rapid acting or is that a long lasting? Uh, that is, I think it's a long lasting. Okay. Oh, it's an ultra long lasting. Oh, okay. I'm going to research that a bit. Or Amy, let us know how you get on. Like, s- send us a message and chat. Tell us what it is, because I'm intrigued. Right, so next we have Type 1 Girly. 50 kilometers in the bag and blood sugars played ball thanks to a mini Haribo packet en route. Yes. Fair play. 50 kilometers. 50 kilometers. 50. Jeez. That's, oh, yeah. She's well done. Yeah, yeah that's mental, man. 50 <laughs> kilometers. Well done, man. That's mad. And keeping your sugar that levels here under control. That's... Yeah, well, really, like, well done. That is a big win. Yeah, Jack's jealous. I am jealous. If you've seen Jack run, then no one else has. Uh, <laughs> this sounds like a film, doesn't it? See Jack run. <laughs> Probably yeah, is a if, film. if not, I'm going to copyright that before someone else nicks it. It is a film. Is it really? Yeah, see Jack run in 1991. Oh, I was born in 92, bro. That would have been so weird. Oh, it's Australian, mate. Oh, see Jack run, mate. See Jack run. Fucking awesome, mate. Should we pick another win before it starts getting... <laughs> I'm going to pick uh, Disaster Diabetic. And they said their HAB1C went from 16% down to 7.5% in just two weeks. That's wicked. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a big win. Wow. Everyone, every diabetic knows how you important that is. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got your HAB1C down quicker than my Novo works. Went down quicker than I did the other night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You just done it to yourself. I know. Do you know what? I saw an opportunity and I thought I'd get in there before anyone else does. <laughs> oh wow my cheeks hurt I've just got the stupidest grin if you can't beat them join them oh, yeah well sometimes you can't join in when you flop <laughs> <laughs> you definitely can't beat it oh my god <laughs> oh that is so good well done well done well done <laughs> Jack, Jack's got the banter today choose another win man. Um, let's do Lauren HAB, as we're on the HAB1Cs, she's got a HAB1C down to 52 from 102 when she was diagnosed eight months ago. Oh, that's wicked. Yeah. Well done. That's, um, I, was, I know Lauren. I've spoke to Lauren. She was diagnosed the uh, same time as me. Have you been diabetic for eight months? Yeah, November 2022, mate. That's so cute. <laughs> you patronising prick. <laughs> that is good, though. Yeah, well done. Well done. That's um again, everyone knows how important that is, so that's wicked. Yep. And, right, and um, when she messaged me, she was like, Isn't it amazing how I would have never even known what a HAB one C is before? <laughs> man, do you know what? It's true. I the first time I saw that on my records, I was asking, I looked at my mum, like, because obviously she's dealt with diabetics at school. So I was just like, Mum, like, what the fuck is that? What's Habba one? She what's Habba like, one C? Is she here? She. That's what I was trying to do. Like, what's her Hab Hab one C or like whatever? Trying to pronounce it out. But she. Even my mum was like, I ain't got a clue, mate. Like, what film is it? What film is it, Jack? What film? Is it? You know, he's like hip hip hop hip hop hip 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 hop hip hip hop hop anonymous. <laughs> big Daddy. <laughs> yeah, Big Daddy. Oh, we've on Big Daddy again. <laughs> oh, that's such a good film. It is a good film. Hey B, hey B, hey B, hey B, hey hey B, one C. Damn you! You gave him the good level. <laughs> nah, we got a couple more, haven't we? I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm going to choose it because my missus sent one in, and she's so proud of herself. She's not even diabetic, so she's actually lucky. I'm letting her on the podcast. <laughs> well, you don't have to be diabetic to have a win. Nah, no, nah, I suppose not, but. She, um, her win this week because she went out and didn't get a hangover. Right, well just... done. <laughs> yeah, well done. Well done, babe. And uh, thank you very much because you're a fucking nightmare when you've got a hangover. I feel sick. <laughs> My head hurts. You should test her sugars when she has one next. Next time she gets a hangover, I'll test her sugars. When she's drunk, test them. And when she's on the hangover stage, test them. I should have done that. When she, I went and picked her up. I should have said to her, should have took my fingerprint with her and pick, told her and her mate, right, get your fingers out. <laughs> I'm pricking them. 
<laughs> I want to do that next time. Yeah, you should. It's actually a really good shout. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. For educational purposes. Yeah. Right, let's do one more, Jack. Uh, let's do Marion. Getting an eye appointment for next month. Well done, Marion. Yeah, well done. Well done. I've, um, I think I've got, well, obviously I've got about four four or five months until I get my next eye screening thing. Well, this is where we usually do guess the carbs, mate, but we already done that earlier. Yeah, we've done it in order today, mate. Yeah, we've actually, st- we- every week, people, we make a plan yeah. and it never, ever gets stuck to. But this week it has. It has, it has. But I want my own so, section. Well, right, we're, we're doing that, right, um... Time and range or average glucose? I think average glucose because it's more relatable for other people. Yeah, we'll do averages then. Because time and range is actually really starting to depress me. Yeah, well, as I say, we both lost our daily time and ranges now, so... Yeah, ranges, it's all about readings now, people. Oh, this is mad, bro. I'm sitting here looking at my sugars just changing. It's wicked. Oh, you ain't done that yet. Well, you have now. <laughs> yeah, I have now. I'm part of the club. I'm 9.3. Oh, I'm 8.7. Oh, it just changed. Went to 9.2. <laughs> oh, it's going back down. Yeah, yeah it's going down. Uh, yeah, don't panic when it goes grey and it says, like, sis- uh, sensor error. Just ignore it for a bit, all right? Oh, uh, yeah, cool. That's the only thing I'll give you advice for because it's usually a dramatic change or it could even be, like, a quick change in, like, temperature as well. Oh, okay. To say, like, you've I'll just got I noticed that. Monday. My, you see when I text you on Monday sorry to interrupt but that just clicked in my head then see I text you on Monday and said I was having we was burning all the rubbish at work yeah and then I started getting stressed out because my sensor had cut out for like the best part of an hour and a half I was standing next to the fire bro it just clicked in my head yeah it's a sudden change in like temperature or sugars it was hot as well like it was one it's not like a normal general garden fire like it was a, it was a big fire bro <laughs> Yeah, you sent me the picture. It was a massive fire. Yeah, and that was only the first bit when I sent you that. We put more on there. Yeah, I know. I was just making it sound dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah, it did. It started getting, like, we're looking at each other like, um, it's getting a bit out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Move the vans. Like, Move the machines out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Nino, Nino. <laughs> yeah, you know me. You know, luckily no one got hurt. I mean, we was all all right, but yeah, that that is obviously why my sensor had cut out. Yeah, d- definitely probably was the reason, actually. Should we wrap it up this week, mate? Yeah, let's end it. Sweet, let's go. And thank you very much, people, for listening. Yeah, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry for being a bit depressed. Nah, you're all right. You cheered up towards the end of it. As soon as you started hearing jingles, you seemed to uh, turn that frown upside down, man. <laughs> yeah, guess the carbs does that to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want to get involved in guessing cars people again, let's um head over to the at we are T one D Instagram page. Uh the post will be out when this podcast is live. So you just go on there and leave your entries in the comment section. Yes. Guys, if you want to follow Jack, his is what's yours, Jack? Mine is at T one D underscore Jack. And if you want to follow me, I'm at T1D underscore Mike. And everything else is at We Are T1D on all social media platforms. Well, yeah, thank you for joining us this week, people. We really appreciate it. See you later. Bye bye. See you later, people. Bye bye.